Hello and welcome back. So in this video we're going to look at the second method for locating the traces of a plane when you're given a laminar section. So we'll take the exact same lamina that we had in our previous example and we'll show how our second method applies to that. So before we do that there's just one little background um, piece of information that we've seen already but it's applied to this second method or the second method uses this um, information. So the idea is that if you have a plane like so and you have say our vertical trace here we have our horizontal trace here and here is our vertical plane here is our horizontal plane so if you were to take the horizontal plane and if you were to draw a series of parallel planes or if you can imagine a level of water rising up parallel to the horizontal plane well the watermark or the trace that that watermark would have as it would rise up will always be parallel to the horizontal trace right so as long as you have a plane cutting across our oblique plane here that is parallel to the horizontal plane the mark the watermark or the trace will be parallel with the horizontal trace so what does that actually look like well if i just click here you can see as we raise up our level of water you can see the watermark on our plane is always going to be parallel to the actual horizontal trace because this plane is parallel with this plane this trace is going to be parallel with this trace and because those two lines are parallel they will appear parallel in all views so if we were to go and do the exact same thing here remember there's our horizontal trace in our plan view and in our elevation the horizontal trace is our ground line here our horizontal line so if i was to click there now and raise up our level of water well there's our level of water you can see our level of water always remaining horizontal parallel with the ground in elevation and our watermark here our trace is always parallel with the horizontal trace so that's the the principle that we're using for our second method of locating the vertical and horizontal traces so here is our setup like before where we have our laminar section so just our simple triangle and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to raise up our level of water and you can see there's our watermark always parallel with our horizontal trace now we're going to raise up our level of water so that it's cutting across our laminar section here like that so where it actually cuts across the object doesn't make any difference but it's a common enough thing to go with an existing point just because it's one less point you have to find so we're just going to lower him down such that the watermark is on this point here that's point a over here in our elevation and in our plan so we know that our watermark in elevation is going to appear horizontal so there is our watermark there as a horizontal line you can see that starts at point a and it gives us now point p which is along the line b and c so if p is on b c in elevation it'll be on b and c in plan view and because it's a join between p and a we just join the two there and there is our watermark in elevation and in plan now we know that the watermark that we have in plan view must be parallel with the horizontal trace like we just saw there earlier on so now we know the actual angle for our horizontal trace so this angle here is the same angle as this horizontal trace here like so we sometimes refer to this as the strike line um, all we need then to do to actually locate our horizontal trace is we need a single point on our horizontal trace so this is where we're going to use the method that we saw in method one where we extend an existing edge until it meets the horizontal plane so we can take any of our three edges that we have here and we can extend it onto the ground so i'm going to use this back edge here like that that's the line c and a there it is there extended onto the horizontal plane the ground when we bring it down and extend c and a until it meets our point here well there is our point on the horizontal trace and we know that the angle of that is going to be parallel with our line here so p and a we can just use our sliding set squares to go parallel with that from our point that we've just found here and now we've located the horizontal trace so that's how we find the horizontal trace there and um, to find the vertical trace we're going to use the exact same approach but only this time we're going to raise our level of water up to another point or we could in fact actually extend a p until it meets the the back wall the vertical plane you can see there there's our line where any line which is extended onto the back wall will give us a point on the vertical trace so i'm going to just there's my plane i'm going to raise up my level of water like so and there would be my watermark and there's our watermark until it meets the back wall which must give us a point on our vertical trace so there is our 
line you can see parallel with the horizontal trace because all watermarks are going to be parallel with that horizontal trace our strike line here where it meets the back wall that's our xy line in our plan view must give us a point on the vertical trace so this is seen from above we project that up and we know that our watermark coming from c is going to be a horizontal line in elevation like our original strike line like our trace there like that so there is our horizontal line that's our point on our vertical trace which we can connect back to our point which we've already found and there is our vertical trace and that is our vertical and our horizontal trace found so some people refer to this as the watermark method um, or the horizontal section method whichever method you way you prefer to, to call it and um, doesn't make any difference but i suppose it's just to have that understanding of how we're using this idea of our watermark or our horizontal section and how the relationship between our trace line is always going to be parallel with the horizontal trace like that so that's the idea and it's quite a useful method again which we see across quite a number of topics so yeah i hope this has been helpful and there's one more method then for our uh, um, locating our vertical horizontal trace which we'll have in another video so stay tuned